Have you ever wondered how a single man could turn the tides of history and shape the destiny of an entire continent? This isn't a tale of fiction, but the remarkable story of Napoleon Bonaparte, a man whose influence stretched across the European continent. His reign ignited the Napoleonic Wars, a series of conflicts that would reshape Europe and the world in ways no one could have predicted. Join us as we dive into the fascinating story of the Napoleonic Wars and the rise and fall of the French Empire. The year is 1799 and a coup d'etat in France has just ushered in a new era. Amidst the chaos of the French Revolution, a young artillery officer named Napoleon Bonaparte seized the opportunity to rise to power. This was not a simple power grab, but a meticulously calculated move. Napoleon, with his charisma and strategic mind, masterminded the coup, positioning himself as the solution to France's tumultuous political landscape. His rise culminated in the establishment of the French consulate, marking the end of the French Revolution and the beginning of Napoleon's reign. Napoleon served as the first consul, the head of this new government. His strong leadership brought stability and order back to France after years of turmoil and bloodshed. But this was just the beginning. Napoleon's vision was not limited to France. He had his sights set on Europe. With his military genius and a nation behind him, he was ready to redefine the continent. The stage was set for an epoch that would redefine the European landscape. With Napoleon at the helm, France was soon embroiled in a series of conflicts that would come to be known as the Napoleonic Wars. As a military genius, Napoleon swiftly reorganized the French army, introducing meritocracy and instilling a sense of nationalism that fueled their will to fight. The early years of the war were marked by a string of spectacular victories. From the snowy plains of Russia to the sandy deserts of Egypt, the French tricolor was raised high and proud. Napoleon's tactical brilliance combined with the fervor of his troops seemed unstoppable. Simultaneously, Europe was a chessboard of shifting alliances. France's successes provoked fear among other European powers, leading to the formation of various coalitions against Napoleon. These alliances, however, proved no match for the French juggernaut in the initial phases of the war. But as we'll see, triumph often sows the seeds of downfall. The stage was set for a dramatic turn of events, which would forever change the face of Europe. The French Empire under Napoleon reached its zenith, but as history has often shown us, all empires must face their decline. The French Empire at its peak was an embodiment of might and grandeur. With Napoleon at the helm, the empire spread its wings across Europe, claiming major victories that seemed to underscore its invincibility. The Battle of Austerlitz, often hailed as Napoleon's greatest triumph, saw the French forces decimate the combined armies of Russia and Austria, cementing the empire's dominance. However, the tide was about to turn. The very factors that propelled the empire to its zenith began to contribute to its downfall. Napoleon's ambition, once his greatest strength, morphed into overconfidence and hubris. His decision to invade Russia, a campaign riddled with miscalculations and misfortune, marked the beginning of the end. The harsh Russian winter, coupled with strategic errors, resulted in a catastrophic retreat, decimating his grand army. The final blow came at the Battle of Waterloo. Napoleon's once invincible forces were defeated by a coalition of European armies. His tactical brilliance was overshadowed by the strategic superiority of his adversaries, marking the end of his reign. Ultimately, the French Empire crumbled, and with it, the era of Napoleon came to an end. The rise and fall of the French Empire under Napoleon, a tale of ambition, triumph, miscalculation and defeat, is an enduring lesson in the annals of history. The fall of the French Empire left a power vacuum in Europe, paving the way for seismic shifts in the political landscape. The aftermath of the Napoleonic Wars was as complex as the conflicts themselves. The Congress of Vienna, convened in September of 1814, aimed to restore stability and peace. Representatives from the major powers of Europe worked tirelessly to redraw national boundaries and balance power. This balance of power, a concept that dominated European politics for the next century, was designed to prevent any single nation from gaining too much strength. 
As a result, smaller states were often used as pawns in the power plays of larger nations. The Napoleonic Wars also brought about significant social and cultural changes. The spirit of nationalism, kindled during the wars, continued to grow and eventually sparked revolutions throughout Europe. Thus, the echoes of the Napoleonic Wars continue to reverberate through history, shaping the world as we know it today.